So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you how to create an automated and evergreen follow-up email sequence so that you can convert more of your leads into paying clients. So let's dive in and show you how you can do this. So to show you how this all works, I thought it would be good to go through how it works in one of my own funnels. So here you have a simple opt-in page. Chances are you also have an opt-in page uh, with some sort of content or some sort of uh, free information that you're giving people in return for them to enter their name and email. So once they give you their name and email or their contact information, they have then opted in, you've now generated a lead. And then what I recommend that you do and what I recommend to all of my clients is that you redirect them to a video page. And on this video, they can then watch a very simple and short five to 10 minute video presentation that goes through how you solve a problem that they have. And then at the end of that video, you can say, if you want to learn more, then click on the button here to schedule a call. So this is where we start our first follow-up sequence. So as soon as someone opts in uh, to actually watch the video, we want to make sure that they watch the video and then schedule a call. So that should be your first follow-up sequence. So to give you an example of how I've done this, I use Kartra for my email marketing uh, automation. Uh, you can use pretty much any, any email marketing solution that allows you to send out automatic emails and sequences. Most of them these days allow you to do that. So what I recommend that you do, as I mentioned, is have one follow-up sequence that goes out to leads as soon as they opt in to try to get them to uh, finish watching that video and then schedule a call with you or whatever your next steps are in your own funnel, just get them to do that and remind them to do that. So as soon as they uh, become a lead, they get an email um, here, you can see that, and then we check to see if they scheduled a call and if they didn't, uh, then we send them another email, then we check to see if they scheduled a call again and then if they didn't, we send them a final email. Okay, and that pretty much ends the automation sequence. So you can make this first follow-up automation sequence uh, I'd recommend between three to 10 days. Okay, so this one in this example is only three days. I have other ones that actually last for about 10 days, uh, but I recommend you, you do an initial follow-up sequence between three to 10 days and you follow up with them every day, okay? Now, why is it important to follow up with them every day as soon as you generate a lead? Well, what I found is that if you don't follow up with people every day, uh, they actually forget who you are or they forget that they actually opted in to watch this free content that you've created. So later on, if they don't hear from you for a while and then they hear from you maybe a week or two weeks later, they actually uh, could have forgotten about who you are and then think that this is spam or think that they never signed up to this email uh, list or whatever it is. And then that actually affects your um, uh, unsubscribe rates and more people will unsubscribe. And also your spam rate goes higher because more people will think that this is spam. And I've just found that if you can email them quite a few times initially, as soon as they opt in, it's just going to increase the chances that they remember who you are and that they actually take action and uh, go to that next step. So what happens if someone doesn't actually go to the next step? So they, um, they don't finish watching the video, or maybe they watch the video, but they don't actually schedule a call. So now what do you do? Well, this is where I recommend you create a second follow-up sequence. And this second follow-up sequence is what I call an evergreen nurturing sequence. And it's evergreen because instead of sending out email broadcasts to people every week, which is what most other people do, uh, with an evergreen automatic email sequence, you only create an email once and then all of your leads go into this sequence uh, and this sequence of emails will just keep going out to all of your leads all the time. You don't have to create a new email from scratch every time you're emailing leads. So this saves you a lot of time uh, because you don't have to keep coming up with new content all the time. And it's evergreen because every time you get a new lead, they're going to start from the beginning of this email sequence and go all the way through it. Uh, and you can keep building this. So when I started this, I only had like one email. Uh, and now you can see, I mean, I haven't actually counted how many I have, but I think I have at least three or four months worth of emails in here. Uh, and it was something I've been building up over time. And it's something that I am actually still build, building up. So you can see that there's a lot of emails that go out. And I recommend that for an evergreen uh, email follow-up sequence, you do this Usually about once a week is a good amount. Um, you can do twice a week as well, that can work. Uh, but in this sequence, for example, it's just once a week. And I recommend you just email your leads once a week 
And when you email them, you email them valuable content, some free helpful content. And then once they consume that content, again, you want to redirect them back to your call to action. So what are you trying to do with these leads? So if your goal is to get more leads to watch the video or schedule an appointment with you, then all of these emails in this sequence should have some free content. And then at the end of the content, you should redirect them to a page where they can actually uh, take that next step, whatever that next step might be in your so sales process, such as uh, booking a meeting with you or, or whatever that next step is in, in your business. And that's all you really need to do, just those two follow-up email sequences. So just to recap, it's one, uh, one follow-up sequence that goes out to leads every day uh, for uh, between three to 10 days uh, to follow up with them to take the next step. And then after that, if they don't finish uh, completing this sequence, they then also be are put into uh, an evergreen, automatic evergreen sequence, which emails the leads every single week, okay? Uh, you can do it once or twice a week. So all you need to do is keep adding emails onto the end of the sequence, and your leads will keep getting emails again and again and again from you until they either unsubscribe or they actually uh, purchase whatever it is that you're selling or go to that next step in your sales process. Now, just as a final uh, little tip for you, you'll notice that I also have um, two emails that go out. So I have one email for leads and one for clients. So you can see I'm actually still following up with clients. Uh, and you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, I still want to stay at the top of mind, not just for leads, but also for clients. And also because I'm giving away uh, some valuable information in these emails, it's still valuable to clients as well, even though they've already converted. So this email, for example, keep it simple, is pretty much the same email. Uh, let me actually show you what this one looks like uh, if I load it up. So if we click on the email, you can see it's just uh, some free helpful tips uh, that I'm giving away. And then at the end, there's a call to action here where people can learn more uh, about working with me. And if we go to the client's email, you can see that once it loads up, you can see that the email is pretty much the same. The only difference is I've just removed the call to action at the end because I'm not really selling anything because these people have already, uh, they're already clients. They, you know, there's nothing really uh, else for me to, to sell to them because they've already signed up as, as a client. So that's how I've done it. You don't have to have a separate email for clients if you don't want to. You can just have one for leads or as soon as you get a client, you can just um, stop emailing them. You could unsubscribe them from this sequence. As an example, I have some other clients that prefer to do that. Uh, but for me personally, I like to continue to email both leads and clients because I am giving them helpful information. And you never know in the future if there's something else that I'm doing, maybe something new or something else that I'm selling. Uh, because I followed up with clients, I can then sell this new thing to them uh, because I've been building up trust with them over a long period of time as well through content. Uh, so that they continue to remember um, who I am, what I do, how I can help them, and, and so on. So that's just a very simple way that you can set up these uh, follow-up sequences. And if you'd actually like a copy of uh, these follow-up sequences and also uh, this sequence here, and actually the whole funnel that I've created from start to, to finish, uh, I've actually got a way that you can install this whole funnel uh, with the follow-up sequences and all the automation rules and everything that I set up, you can install it in one click inside of your Kartra account. And all you then need to do is just edit the text of the emails and the pages, but obviously it's going to save you a lot of time. So if you're interested in learning how you can access that, what I recommend that you do is sign up for my free masterclass training. So if you go to salesappointmentsmasterclass.com, uh, here's the URL, you will then be redirected to a page that looks something like this. And then if you sign up for uh, the free training that I've recorded, uh, just enter your name and email, you'll be able to get access to that instantly. It's not a live webinar or fake webinar or anything like that. It's actually uh, just a video I've recorded that goes through how you can do this. Uh, and unlike other free training things that you see online uh, where they offer something for free and then it's just like a two hour long sales pitch, this, this video that I've recorded actually does go through what you need to do to get predictable sales appointments every single month and how you can get pre-qualified appointments with people that actually want to work with you using both Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and also Google. Okay, so I go through how you can do all of that inside of this video. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, then you can sign up for free to watch that. And uh, at the end of this uh, video, I do go through how you can then work with me and uh, also go through how you can get access to the funnel that I've created uh, so that you can save a lot of time and you don't have to create all of this from scratch. 
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.